in the building let's get it man real toronto podcast and we got a toronto rap legend if you don't know who this is and you listen to toronto music you don't listen to toronto music if you don't know who this is and you're you're not familiar with the scene you live under a rock let's be real thank you for coming man Big thank facts. you for coming bro thank you for having me man i love of course it, man. bro yeah you know what's crazy i've been listening to you since high school mm-hmm. since i was in high school even my cameraman too like before he came this guy's like yo we've been listening to you since high school Mm-hmm. which is crazy, which is like 12, 13 years ago, 11, 11 to 12, 13 years ago, you know, Mine. which is super crazy. And so like, everybody tells me all the time, they tell me fans and shit, that's always the biggest thing. Like, yo, I've been listening to you from day one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before, you know, before all this melody sound in Toronto came, you know, but yeah, you blew up in 2012. I think it was 2012, 2013 time. The first track I heard from you was, um, was the Vibes Cartel beat. I think you, it was won't sleep won't sleep yeah 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 mm, 2013 that one yeah when you made that track in the studio did you think you were gonna blow up like the way that you, you did or did you just think that oh that was, that's just another track you're gonna do fuck kinda i don't know like by then i already had a little wave you know what i'm saying so yeah. like i knew it was gonna wave but t- to predict this right now like couldn't stay off of that track but i always knew like no matter what once i hear my tracks and I get, i'm showing it to somebody i always knew they were gonna like it for some reason, I never had that feeling like I'm gonna show some of my tracks and gonna be like it's shit. Mm-hmm. So when I was dropping that, I was like, yeah, like I was just ready to go, you know? Yeah. And back then, you were obviously one of the first to blow up. You know, how did I feel back then? Because back then, not that much people have clout. Nowadays, you can go on TikTok, make a video, you have clout. It's much easier today. Back then, 11, 12 years ago, I seen it firsthand how hard it was. You know? Mm-hmm. How did I feel though? You're like one of the very few people that actually had clout. You know? Fam, I didn't even care, to be you honest. Didn't care? No. It still doesn't even hit me like that. Like, I still just move regularly. Like, yeah. I was just doing it, but that's why I think it keeps progressing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just natural to me. Like, when the fan shit's coming, like, after the first time I went downtown and I seen some fans and shit, that was my first interaction with, like, a real fan thing. That was crazy. And I was like, holy mm-hmm. fuck. And then the first time I went OT and seen fans. But then after that, it just became normal. And it's just like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. There's no, I'm not surprised. This is like, this is your, well, yeah. Purpose. Why am I not doing this? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, this is your purpose, bigger. right? Yeah. Make music. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Which is good, bro. And then, um, yeah, you hit like 100K views when it was super hard, you know? Mm-hmm. I think the Won't Sleep video did like, I don't have the best memory on this. It was like 20K in three days, mm-hmm. you know? Nowadays, they can, they can do that, you know? Any rapper can do that. But back then, they couldn't, you know? Which is kind of crazy. And you said you're, you weren't really that excited that you had clout. But did you have some, something in your mind that says, okay, it's better if I, cl- if I have clout because I can make money off this, you know? Was that in the back of your head that, yo, I have this clout now, I can make money? Were you thinking like that from, from, from that type of perspective? or Kind of, but not really, fam. It's weird, you know what I'm saying? That all came when I got out of jail. That whole time, it was just a hobby. I'm just doing it. Like, yeah, it was like, I had that dream. Like, okay, yeah. you know, we want to fucking be rich and all that, but... I wasn't doing nothing on the business side to make that happen. So I knew I wasn't that serious. You know what I'm saying? I was just serious about making the craft, doing the videos, being around the man them. That was huh. what excited me the most. You know what I'm but now it's like, okay, now I get more to the business side. You know? But all of that is what made this possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was all right. I, like, I wasn't making money like that. Back you wasn't? Then. No, I wasn't. Not even on that. YouTube or anything or like was, shows? I was, yeah, like, I had my YouTube monetized. Yeah. But like, that's just little YouTube bread, whatever, the shows. Uh-huh. I was doing shows free. I don't care. I just you pop up. Free. Tons of shows free. Not like, not like my headline ones, mm-hmm. but like I'll just pop up. Okay, Yo, Peter yeah. Jackson was going Where's the show at? All right, I'm there. I don't even ask. I don't ask about the bread. I'm just there. I'm just doing it. I'm like, yeah, I'm here. That's how I started out. You I was going to love the game. Mm-hmm. I was going to fucking schools and shit. Fam, I used to do pop-ups and, pop-ups and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I'll message a fan on Instagram. I'll see like who's showing love. And I'm like, Yo, where you from? What school do you go to? I say, oh yeah, I live in fucking Bradford or some random place. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, tell everybody I'm coming to the school at this time. Boom, well, I just show up, rap, <laughs> sell fucking CDs and yeah. shirts, and cut. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No one really like, does that. Yeah. They all expect some type of bread, you know? Mm-hmm. That was my crazy. Shit. You just did it for the love of the game. I actually the rate fuck that. Up you know? I, I I can't be bored. Like I can't be complacent just sitting doing one thing. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I'm just going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, back then there was no way to make Spotify money. You know, back then it was just YouTube. I don't know if you get paid through SoundCloud, stuff like that. But did you make money off merch though? Yeah, I made money off merch. Off merch. You I know, so funny because yo, I fucking when I was in jail, I found out that I had a Spotify, right? Yeah. And I seen that I had like a million views on this, fair views on there, like enough views. You know, I'm like, what the fuck? And then my manager was telling me, yo, you, you get paid for this shit. Like, where was all mm-hmm. that money going? But apparently, fucking, I've been getting the money the whole time. I fucking shut down my own thing, called Spotify. I thought someone else plagiarized me. It was my other homie. My other homie that was my manager at First Finch. Yeah. He was saying that was uploading the shit. And then I found out that the shit was uploaded. They didn't know it was him. But every month he's been paying me. I thought that was YouTube money. I didn't know it was Spotify money. So I've been getting paid for Spotify for like two years while I was in jail. Yeah. Not even knowing. I fucking try to sue my own self, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> but yeah, doing those shows, it made you realize that you had like a lot of real fans in the GTA, you know? Mm. How, did, how did I feel though? Like you're actually making music and it's, you're actually getting an outcome, you know? Mm. A lot of people, they, they made music, you know? They, it didn't really, they didn't really get like the response they wanted. They didn't get that much views. But you were like, one of the very few. How did it feel like, you know, you have actual real fans that will buy your merch? Because it's hard, it's easy to get fans, but it's not hard, but it's hard to get real fans, you know, that will go to every show, that will buy your merch, that will watch, that will share every video, watch it like 10, 20 times. Mm-hmm. How does that feel though? Like a real fan. It's crazy still, like, fuck, it's almost emotional in a way, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. Like, fuck, like, yeah, I rock with you, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you look at them like a brother, like, yeah, you're my nigga fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was this uh, some girl that got your name tatted on or something? Tons of them. Tons of them. <laughs> Tons of them. They're, yeah. they're getting me to write it on them and they're tatted and then the, the fucking marker's not good enough. The fucking sweat's on the hand. The writing's all fucked up. I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? I have perfect hair and they don't disrespect. They're getting it tatted. I'm like, yo, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> this shit looks fucked up, but they're tatting it though. It's yeah. all love. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They've been doing that for years, my nigga. Like, yeah. I don't know, like, I just tap in. I feel like I'm so vulnerable in my music, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And people people see that, you know what I'm saying? So my fan base is people that are like, a lot of them are going through shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they take that in. I, it hit me doing, during the tours and shit. Like, I don't purposely do that. Like, I just rap. I'm just doing what I do. Like, sometimes I spit this type of shit, some op shit. I might spit some deep shit, some girl shit. But I'm connected with people in a way and I'm not yeah. even taking it in. And it's the shows that I'm realizing my fan base. And I'm like, damn, like, that's crazy. Like, these people are crying, like they're like, yo, that song, that song. I'm like, that's crazy. Like, I'm just venting and they're yeah. feeling that, you know what I'm saying? So it's deep. It's deep with these fans. Yeah, because sure. I've seen it with your music too. Sometimes you have bars, sometimes you have like that pain music. Mm-hmm. You have, you're very versatile. You even made an album called Versatile, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, like your music is. I think I'm crazy. Huh? I think I'm crazy. <laughs> I go in the booth one day, I'm like this. Then I go in the booth next day, I'm like this. Next day, like, I'm like, it just comes out however it is, you know what I'm saying? However I'm feeling like. You don't write, you just freestyle or just make it that day? I do both. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lately I've been freestyling a lot, bro. I like it mm-hmm. better. Just easier to freestyle, you know? Yeah. But when I'm like, when I write, it's always deeper. You know always deeper, There's yeah? deeper shit in there, you know? Yeah. But I barely like writing. Like, I just go to, I'm, I test my limits, fam. Like, that's my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'll go short time and I'll make sure, I'll say, okay, I'm doing three songs this time. No beat. No lyrics, no nothing. I'm just going. I want to test my limits all the time. You yeah. know? I live on the edge like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then back then in 2014, it looked like it looked like you were gonna get like millions of views at one point. Mm-hmm. You know, you had like the biggest buzz, like dropping music, music, music. And then you went to, and then uh, you got locked up. What do you think life would have been like if you never got locked up? You know, you can't like change the past or anything. But like, what do you do you think you would have like a much bigger buzz? A lot of niggas wouldn't stand a chance. Mm-hmm. No, they don't. They don't now, but it would have been worse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It would have been worse. I would have been fucking way more stamped. You know, I feel like people don't like that. You know, yeah. unless they know me as shit, they don't like that. They don't want to see me up there like that. It's good though. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because fuck you too. I don't really care about you, but I feel like that would. That's definitely something that would have changed. Like my name would have been more household than it is now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for yeah. sure. There's no hundred percent. There's no. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. You know mm-hmm. so. Yeah, and it's not just you. Like, a lot of rappers in the city, they had a huge buzz, and then, you know, they get locked up, and it just slows the momentum down. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of, like, a lot of people forget them. A lot of people, like, you know how fast this game goes? Like, you drop out music, it's really good. A month later, people don't care. 
you have to be on top of it every month, which is which is like a fast paced game, you know, the way it is right now. Mm. And then um, when you went to uh, when you got locked up, you know, were you getting recognized for your music then too? Like in it, like mm. what was the skills? every range, man. every not, range? There's not a range I'd go to if someone doesn't know me. Yeah, seals uh, knew me as shit. Mm -hmm. Play my tracks. The ones who didn't know me ended up knowing me. Yeah, because the like the range, the range, the range, fucking these niggas in this shit, man. These guys used to fuck it before they lock up. They always would scream like there's like a bottom tier, top tier. And this is before I got there, you know? Yeah. So I land on this range, they'll show me they have a ritual. They say, um, it's wrong, dog. Then the bottom is like, wah, go on. Then the round chopper goes, three, five, seven, bomb, bomb. Yeah. And then they all lock up. The judge, the, 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 the guards are doing it too. Like they well yeah. know it, right? So when I land out that range, like, yo, this is the guy. Uh -huh. What we do that for, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is his track, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, it was viral, you know? Crazy. Are you like the most mm -hmm. famous person on that range? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, it's good that the CEOs show love. Everyone there showed love, you know? Did you get like a special treatment because of that? Not really, man. Maybe a little bit of bogeys, but <laughs> <laughs> not too crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But when you went there, you were here. Did you hear how, like, right when you go there, you're locked up for a few years. Did you hear how, like, Toronto music is going to a next level? Did you hear how, like, how did that make you feel when, like, a lot of rappers were getting shouted out by Drake? A lot of rappers were getting posted on vlogs. Like, they were, they were hitting millions of views. Did, did that make you feel a type of weight? I was amped. I was good. I was good. Yeah. I up for the challenge. Bro, whenever when the city's dying down, trust me, I'm dying down with like I don't know what it is, man. Like I work off a nigga's shit. Like yeah. I wanna see these guys doing good. So I say, yeah, all right, watch this. Now I have to come in and stamp my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If the, if the, everything's just sus, it's like, where's the motivation? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you just yeah, you're on top, but like you need sometimes you need competition, fam. Good. Yeah. It's you good do. for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I loved it. I loved it. I was just waiting to come do exactly what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? For people who yeah. think I'm going to fall off. I'm still here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Still lit. Yeah. And then when you come back, you realize, okay, it's not just the bars anymore. People have these melodies. They Back in like 2015, 16, they kind of copied like the Chicago wave, which is a good thing they did because like that's it, that's it. That's it. The city in like a whole next level. And then when you come back, you're hearing, oh, melodies is the hottest thing right now. How did you adapt to it? You know? I was working on it from in there. Sorry? I was working on it from in there. Yeah. Yeah, so they had they didn't stand a chance. I was already coming. Mm -hmm. All these songs were already made. Tons of them were already made. The ones that blew up and shit, forget about me. I was, oh, I was yeah, writing yeah. those in jail. And that so was a that, world star. Before I even touched auto tune, I knew I was gonna do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was not worried at all. I didn't care how it was gonna sound. Yeah, I knew I was gonna drop it no matter what. No one's telling me shit. I'm dropping this guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I just did it. And what really started it too is like, in the bin, niggas had niggas are coming in from road right. So all the sauces coming in. So everybody's writing songs and doing shit. We're running the yard freestyling. That's how they're doing it. So I'm catching on to little waves and little things like, you know what I'm saying? So already that was a vibe in there. So yeah. while it was going on out here, best believe in there we were on that wavy shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That whole time in the South, we didn't listen to music. There was no like channels or radio, but it was niggas rapping. You guys That's made music. Yeah. yeah, we made music. So I, I came out, do a little bit bar shit, and I see niggas are coming with the wavy shit. I'm like, and I'm like, oh, yo, I got to fucking start singing. I just tried it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's how it happened. Yo, when you go to the studio, like right when you came back, were you going to be like, yo, I'm going to go to the studio 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week. Was it that, that type of vibe? Was it like, yo, I have to be on my grind. Like right when I yeah. come back, I want to be like a OVO factory worker type of shit, you know? Yeah, not like fucking, I don't believe in fucking some hard ass crazy labor still, but I was ready. Do what I'm doing now, man. Best track do what I'm doing now, man. Yeah. Nah, to be honest, no. I got a flow. Everything's got a flow in me, man. I got to be in flow state, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. I'm on some different shit. I'm on some monk shit. If I'm there at the studio getting tired, but still trying to force it, what is that worth? You know what I'm saying? I got to be happy. I got to want to do it. If I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially with my shit. So like, I'll go in there, I punch in a few hours, whatever, whenever I'm, till I'm feeling it, and then I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Back when I'm back, but I make sure no matter what, every week I'm in the studio. That's my one discipline. Like, Two days a week, guaranteed. From my God out till now, it's never changed. You know what I'm saying? Studio yeah. guy hit me the other day. He's like, yo, bro, like, respect for your consistency. Like, just think about that. You know what I'm so saying? You I'm said twice a week? Yeah, guaranteed. Okay, That's guaranteed. Least, and yeah. then plus whatever, you know what I'm saying? $60 an hour for like the last four or five years straight. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. one man for sure. You know what I'm saying? So like, think about how much that is like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to give me that. Like, holy shit, fam. Like, that how much do you think you spent 
making music in like the lab because I, I know studio time is not cheap you know what? and they got a mix and master all that shit and if you want to drop a video a stack five bills fifteen hundred how well, I, really, I really do like a studio to be honest I get away with like a thousand twelve hundred a month you know what I'm saying like okay. easily so like about 15k a year on that videos <sighs> Couldn't it's hard to say, fam, because I drop a lot of videos. Yeah. But I'm paying anywhere from, you know, five bills to fifteen hundred mm-hmm. for these videos, you know what I'm saying? Clothes. You don't want to count that. Yeah, Thousands yeah. on clothes. Uh-huh. You say this shit is a lot. You know what I'm saying? Is, yeah. Yeah, fam. Like you gotta have money. Like when I'm doing these tours and shit too, is what I'm seeing it. Like, fuck. I'm paying people and realizing, like, yo, if you don't have the bread, if bread's not coming in, like yeah. <clears throat> you're not even gonna be able to do this shit. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna make sense, even if you can have a couple fans there that's like if all that bread's gonna go right back into the shit you're not gonna have the motivation to go work for free yeah. while everybody's going home eating food you, you just have to go back to the drawing board it don't make no sense yeah? Mm-hmm. so yeah you need money for this shit for it sure. doesn't make it like a must that your your, your your tracks have to like put in do numbers because if you're gonna spend this much and it doesn't do that much numbers is it gonna feel like a failure not for me not for you okay. no I just drop another track yeah I just budget it a different way. Fuck it. All right, yo, I've spent this. Let's say, let's say you, you know, you spend some on a video, you don't make that back. Fuck, go do a one take. Uh huh. Spend nothing on that one. You know. Yeah. Drop two of those. Do a studio video. Maybe the guy charge you three bills. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now you just even though, all right. So now out of the four videos, you only spent the rack. Now you're like, all right, bless. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's ways to there's ways to work around it, man. I tell everybody, just work, bro. Yeah. Just fucking work. Drop the shit. Drop the shit. Go mm-hmm. do the video and drop the shit. The fuck you doing? Drop the shit if it doesn't get enough views. Go drop another one. I like if you get 10 k on this or hundred k on this. Go drop five of them. Now you got five hundred k. You're getting paid off of your whole channel, not per fucking video. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I always look at it. Like my Spotify is doing a million a month, every monthly month. Listeners. No, not my monthly listeners, but like a million streams. Oh, okay. A yeah. million streams every month. Uh-huh. Hundred thousand monthly listeners. A million streams a month. Yeah. That's just not off of a couple bangers. That's not off of, oh, one day wonders, he blew up. No, you go down my whole list and you're just seeing it's just bare tracks, fam. Like, yeah. by the time you get to like 500 listens a day, you're years back in my catalog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's what does it. You got to keep dropping. Yeah. And then your track was sick. That blew up on uh, Spotify. Go there. Mm-hmm. And I think Canadian, Jamaican. Or, Jamaican, uh, those, Canadian. Th- yeah, yeah. Those two tracks blew up, you know? Did you guys like do something behind the scenes to get on on like a Spotify playlist, or did they just put it up out there themselves? Did they just like this? You know those playlists? They just it's like, my distributor because I'm signed with Sony, right? Member yeah. and the distribution, so I feel like they they played a big role in that. You know, mm-hmm. I got them to take it serious. Yeah, and yeah, it went on Hip Hop Central and shit. That that kind of really blew it up, right? It went gold, fam. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I think yeah. over seven million streams, which is mm-hmm. crazy numbers. Mm-hmm. It's really good, you know. Mm-hmm. Did you get paid off that? Oh yeah, for sure. Nice, nice. You know, for sure. I think they pay about like, is it true for like every million streams they pay about four, four or five k? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. About that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I I understand how hard it is to spend all this money. You know, a lot of rappers, because you like what we talked about right now. Studio time, sixteen hour, seventeen hour. You gotta pay for a video, fifteen hundred. They're doing all this stuff over there, you know? Mm-hmm. And by the time like a, a like a whole track is done, like two bands gone right there for one track. Mm-hmm. Do you think like some of the blogs should be posting for free or do you think we should be getting, getting paid? It depends. It depends. Eh? It, like there's certain there's certain certain artists that you guys need, you know? Yeah. You need these guys on your shit, you know? And that's just that's why you're a blog, you know what I'm saying? Like if TMZ did that. How they f- and they're probably never going to post fucking certain people, Kanye mm-hmm. West and all his moments. You can't move like that. So you got to post who makes sense. Yeah. And then, you know, if you're on the come up, we're grown, man. We understand you're on the come up. You know why you hit me. Pay. Because you yeah. hit me. You hit me for a reason to pay. Mm-hmm. If it's like an artist that someone's already posted and posted and they're just like, yo, oh, yo, I'm dropping this tomorrow. Can you post that? For free? You know, it's fine. Whatever. Like, you're already yeah. somebody I post already. I probably was going to already post it. But I feel like maybe a blogger see that, oh, yo, he messaged me first. Now let me charge him. But it's like, man, you posted me 10 times already. Like, mm-hmm. we, we know why you post me because engagement, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So th- th- this is what, this is the whole, it's like a chain fam, like the blogs, the rappers are rap. The blogs are post the top rappers that do mm-hmm. the dumb shit and the beef and shit. And then you get the upper couple rappers that are going to pay the blogs 
to get posted amongst side the big rappers. For me to be there, Roni, and fucking for you to be there right beside me on a page means something. You say you got to pay for that. But that slot, there has to be certain slots that are there for certain demands that you're like, okay, Drake did something funny. I'm posting them. I've been talking mm-hmm. to Drake about, oh, send me $50. Like, fam, you sound dumb. Post yeah. the fucking clip. That's, that's you know what I'm saying? Post the clip. Yeah. So like, yeah, a little bit. Niggas need to pay and niggas need to get free. Some people deserve free. Yeah. Some people deserve to pay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With me a few years ago, what I used to do, every top artist, I'll just post them, you know? All like the big brand names in the city. When it was up and coming artists or artists that I did business with, like I, I'd have to get paid too. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, I'm on like the way I'm operating, fam. Like I'd be working like 10, 12 hours a day that if someone doesn't pay me, I don't really post them anymore. Do you think there's something wrong with that? Do you think I should be posting some artists for free? Because like, you know, I'd be busy, I'd be busy. And then I do this. I got to go do an interview. I got to like, you know, post the news. My brain's fried looking at the mm-hmm. phone. Do you think I owe some responsibility? To the rapper. You, you don't owe responsibility to the rapper, but to mm-hmm. your page. Because if it's a banger and this is a, a good video, a good track, yeah. you think it's a banger and your fans will engage in it, why not post it? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of your brand. This is what's building your page anyways, right? So it's more for you even than the rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the rapper's going to get a little clout with it from too, but so are you. Your page mm-hmm. is what you, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're not shouting on another page. It's your page, right? So if, if it's a good track and if you want to, you do it. But if you don't, a man has no right to page you. Yeah. Yo, fam, I just dropped this. You're acting like you don't see it. Why didn't you post it? Mm-hmm. No, run up. You know what I'm no, that was crazy. Like nowadays, that doesn't happen. But two years ago, three years ago, there were like a lot of rappers were expecting free, free, free. I'm like, yo, I charge this much. I could give you a little discount. That's the most I can do, you know? Mm-hmm. But like, I, I just keep it at that, you know? Because at the end, end of the day, it's like a business too. Mm-hmm. It's like a barber shop. You know, someone cuts your hair. You don't want to like say, oh, can you do it for free? Can you do it for free? You just want to like give them and tip them. I think it's the same of us too at the end of the day, you know? Because mm. like if we're giving clout too, we should be getting paid. But if it's a big artist that we need, you're right. Mm. Like it's, it's beneficial to us too. We mm. both win. No, you know? for sure, for sure. Because sure. yeah. And how do you feel? You know, I'm not going to name any artists, you know, okay? But you see like these, some of these girls, they get posted for free, you know? Just because of like the way they look or like they're making a cringe music video and or, or like people want to laugh at them and, and engage. How do you feel about them getting posted for free? It doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter? Shit. Damn, this is what they're there for. This is what it is. We're not all, you know what I'm saying? We're not all the same. We're men and there's women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And women get fucking posted or doing this shit. If people want to see a fat ass and a pretty girl, yeah. why the fuck are you mad? Shut the fuck up. Let mm-hmm. her go be pretty and fat ass on the shit for free. Yeah. You don't be mad. I don't see the problem there. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like... Fuck yeah, we know we all know why they're getting posted. Okay, mm-hmm. the music shit. You're literally in the comments saying, "Yo, the music shit." You're only posting there because of this, nigga. You just said the reason why. Mm-hmm. Why are you even asking it? Like you know why? Because they're guanin. Why the fucking porn stars make money? Because they're guanin and yeah. they're posted. It's the same shit. Like a page mm-hmm. is gonna post a guanin girl because she's fucking guanin. It makes sense. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? If if you think that's gonna get engagement, it's just a rap beef, just like a rap beef for get mm-hmm. engagement. It's the same type of shit, fam. Yeah. So, there's no different with it. People just like to hate, man. I know people like to chat. You know what I'm saying? They just want to find something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was them, oh no, they wouldn't be saying that. They would <laughs> They'll not be like, be thank you. That. They would be saying all what they worked for. Yeah. And, yeah, well, this is I took care of myself for me to be able to be this pretty to be on. You know what I'm saying? They'll, you know what I'm saying? They'll be on it. So like, we don't want to hear it, man. Shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you just mentioned like rap beats right now. Like I, we seen you in the last few years with some other artists in rap beats. Is there any time you regret it going back and forth with them? Because like uh, I noticed a lot of rappers, what you guys would do was go on IG Live or like just go back and forth and then delete it. And it's smart to delete it. You know, you don't want it up there forever. But have you ever regretted saying going back and forth with some artists or saying something to them? I don't regret nothing I said, but like, Fuck, sometimes I go on there and I'm on YouTube. I'm trying to delete the shit myself. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I just don't want it. I don't even look at me mm-hmm. yelling and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting out of my character and shit like that. So like, no, nah, like I don't really. That's why I'm not. That's why you don't see me doing it, right? If yeah, I, yeah. If I really smart. liked it, I would be that's doing smart, it like yeah. that, right? It's not really mm-hmm. my thing. You know what I'm saying? So like, regret it in a way, not really though. Like I guess got a little cloud from it, but that's not my lane. That's not my mm-hmm. speech. Like I don't really care about fake rap beef and shit. Like I don't even know what a fake rap beef niggas like. Yeah. What are we doing here? What are we talking about? Some shit we're not going to do. This sounds crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, um, 
Like, you know, when the blog's posted, you ha you have, like, a good connection with us. If you ask me to delete something, I'll delete it. Or if there's, there's a no next page. But when it's, like, a YouTube, when it, when it, and it reaches, like, 50, 60K views, and you see it there, how, like, it's, it's going to be harder to reach out to them and get it deleted, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why I asked if you regret saying something, because uh, it's up there, too. Mm -hmm. And then with me, I, like, I'm unmasked, you know? But if I wasn't, you know? Sometimes I wouldn't want to say something, because, like, yo, it's on the internet. My fam's going to see this, like my mom, my sisters, my in-laws, da, da, da. And I don't want to say something stupid or get off character. Did you, have you ever felt like that too? Like you don't, oh, you don't want your family seeing this and stuff, you know? No, no. Like I never worry about that. It's more me. Like I'm always on some fucking, like I got a lot of fire in me, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I like to, I like to like present that, like the good side, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. like, I, I leave it through my raps and when I'm on stage, if you notice, like even my videos, I'm, I'm turned, whatever. But versus stage me is like, I'm in a different world. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the same me now. You know what I'm saying? It's a different man. So like, I don't like, I don't want to watch that. Like, I don't like, yeah. ah, fuck. Yeah. Like, what did I say? I'm there I yelling said, and yeah. shit. Like, I'm putting uh -huh. niggas on the game. Like, don't worry about it. I'm a chill man, bro. Don't worry about it. Like, I don't get mad. You know, so like, I don't really like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Seeing yeah. that part. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But you don't care about family, like looking at it like, or, or shit like that. You don't care about that? No. No. Okay. Yeah. And then um, I was going to ask you, some people, they've been making up fake accusations on you. You know, like we know it's fake. Like, like if they say something, you can literally see online if it's real or not. If you do like a research, like anyone mm -hmm. can tell it's fake. Like if someone, like if someone calls, like, uh, how did you feel about that? Because like if someone like just says, oh, I did this or that and it's not true. I don't know if I'm going to be silent about it or just clear it, clear it on the internet. Yo, I didn't do this. It's fake. Go find an article. Like, how, how would you, how did you respond to that? I tell niggas to come say it to my face. Yeah. That's my main thing. Like, fuck, like, at first I lose my mind. Okay, I'm cheese. Then I'm like, fuck, but I don't even know these people. These mm -hmm. people are just talking out their ass. Everybody yeah. knows it's fake. I know it's fake. Yeah, every time I lost my cool, I have an OG calling me on some shit, like a real gang member that's calling me saying, my nigga, relax. Don't even let these guys draw your element. Let them see you and box them if they, if they if, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they're not, no one, you know what I'm saying? I don't see nobody. Yeah. So it's like. I don't know you. You don't know me. What are we going to do? Like, what are we doing here? We're going to, mm -hmm. like, fake news? Like, all right. Say less. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not on the fake news. Never would I go on the internet and do a fake story on a nigga. You know when some shit's fake? I don't have time for that, my nigga. Like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care to ruin your character. You're already ruined as it is. You're a waste you. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. I don't have to do shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, fine. Like, I don't really care about all that. Like, it never really bothered me to that extent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I fucked up when I'm trying to clear it. That's when I fucked up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's like, fam, why are you even talking about it mm -hmm. to these idiot people? Like, don't even do that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, as long as everybody knows what it is, it's blessed. You see my shows. You see the fans. You see my fucking people I roll with. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. Yeah. yeah it's love, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if it, if it comes to me, like, I was thinking about it the other day when I was making questions. I'm like, yo, I don't know if I should go back and clear it up, make a story, or not respond. So if someone's going through that stage right now, they have fake accusations on them. You know, what, what advice would you give? To not even say anything? It depends, bro. Like, it depends. Like, fuck. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you don't want to say nothing. Sometimes it depends who it is, right? Like, yeah. who's saying this? Where, where is this reaching? How far is this reaching? Is this going to fucking draw something on your character? Because you should not live and let that happen. Like, mm -hmm. no one can, like, show up your character. You know what I'm saying? Like, people try to do that with me, but that's more on talk. Like, I heard or something, like, or something. Like, you could do that all you want. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. there's no one that can know me and say anything. There's not, it's impossible. Like, what are you talking about here? Like, come on. So, like, as long as you know that, you're blessed. But depends, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you get some shit posted on fucking all over the internet, it's all over the blogs, and, like, you know what I'm saying, now your, your streams are going down or something, fuck, it might be beneficial yeah. for you to say yeah. some shit. Mm -hmm. But if it's just some waste man trying to get some clout, you just allow that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to allow it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with that, yeah. Like if it doesn't take if if it, if it starts hurting your pockets, if it actually has family calling you, yo, did you do this, did you do that? Then yeah, you should say something. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Yeah, if it's a waste, you just leave it alone. Yeah, for sure. Fine. But yeah, and then recently, like uh, not recently, for it's been a minute now. People are saying, oh, don't ever go back to your hood, just to rappers in general. You know when they blow up. Ever since you you um you came back, did you ever go back to your hood? Yeah. Yeah. Just past true though, like. It's not the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of Going course. Going yeah. and just chilling and whatever, like. But it all depends. It's all it, it all depends, fam. Like who's there at the moment? Like what's going on? Like it's never planned to like 
just not chill or too chill. It's like whatever we're doing. And we just so happen to be doing some fly ass nigga shit where we can't be in the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. people don't have time to be in the hood chilling like that. And when we pass through, it's to pick someone up, to bring them to do some fly ass nigga shit. So it's like, yeah. you don't really got time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's the main gist of it. But fuck, well connected back with the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like the hood is where the shit started. You got to know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's where I come from. So I always show my love, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I asked a lot of rappers this. You know, people that are in the scene. Like, when you're out in the city or anywhere, do you ever get peril? You ever get paranoid? No. Never, eh? No. Okay. I don't know why. It's fuck because I, like, do what everybody talks and says. I'm like, maybe I should be, but, like, I'm just here moving. Even when people say I'm not here and I'm here and I'm here and they think I'm not, like, no matter what, like, I'm the biggest shinobi, so I maneuver. Like, I'm good, you know? Yeah. I'm good, you know? Why them don't even bother me? Niggas don't bother me. I'm always just, you know what I'm saying? See, I'm here, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We passed through. We're going to leave same way we came. You know what I'm saying? Protected, blessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's good. You don't let that get to your head. Because some people, like, they get clout and they get peril, you know? Even me, if I did not have this mask on, I would get peril. I'm not going to lie to you. That's mm. a reason why I have that mask. I, I'm not trying to get recognized in the city. I'm not trying to go to... York, they all share away gardens and everyone recognizes me, you know? I'm not that. I, I want to, like, lay low and shit like that. So that's why I got to ask as a rapper, like, you have to plow mm. your face everywhere. Like, if you get peril. I'm so sense. used to it, too, right? Yeah. Remember it's when I like started, I was 15, plus. you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. fuck, bro. Like, this has just been me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I've been doing this. Like, I've been out there, you know? So I'm not really worried still. Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you made a lot of... You made a lot of collabs. You made like some classic collabs with like Sick, Kilo, YH. Out of everyone, everyone you collab with, who's your favorite person to work with? Probably say Sick or YH, one of them two. Sick or YH. The diff different vibes, right? Like me, and YH, we've been doing it for so long mm -hmm. that it's like this is just what we do. You know what I'm saying? And it works. And I can send him something, and I know he's gonna drop some fire back on it. And then me and Sick, like when we're in the booth, it's quick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We feed off each each other each other's energy quick. We'll come up with a banger fast. So like, yeah, them two for sure. Okay, okay. And then uh you've been on a tour, I think it was last weekend. Mm -hmm. How was that tour like? It's, it's crazy, fam. Yeah. Niggas are not doing the shit I'm doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking I'm I'm being more, more humble than I should be, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like fuck. The shit was crazy, fam. Like when I'm looking at it, I'm just like, damn, like, this is what I did. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here opening for niggas. I don't have niggas opening for me that are, you know what I'm saying? Doing the most. I'm uplifting artists. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing some real shit. Like, I'm taking artists that aren't getting a lot of views, that aren't doing their own shows and saying, yo, forward. Yeah. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. You don't have to sell their tickets. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the main thing I take pride in because I watch what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So show, cute, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but you have four or five niggas that got 50 plus K on there. It should be fucking four, two times at least bigger than mine. Why is mine bigger if not the same? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Whatever, big run dog. So yeah, that's just my flex right there. Like, okay, it makes me know. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love posting my videos. I show people like, look what I'm doing by myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might lie and tell yourself, oh, there must be an artist. There. No, it's me, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me, nigga. I know big promotional team is me. Mm -hmm. Putting up the bread. Who's putting up the bread for the venues? Me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who's yeah, who, who's, who's telling them, yo, woo, 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 you do this, do that, boom, 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 boom. It's getting done. Surdy, it's me. I planned the route. It's me. Yeah. Montreal, the auto. Okay, we're going here, 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 here. It's me. The next one I'm going to do, it's me. I'm going to do it all. You know what I'm saying? By myself. Yeah. Piss. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the people working for me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. without them, it's not going to work. Because fuck, they do some serious shit. Like they do the groundwork. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in the back, just making the plan and saying, okay, this is what we're doing. And yeah. bang, it's done. So like, I take pride in that because I know that's not the case most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's getting put on and shit. I used to care about that, you know? I don't care about it no more. It's crazy. Like I see shit, I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care to get posted on certain shit. I don't care. I used to message pages and say, yo, yeah. we're saying post this. I don't even care. <laughs> if a page is getting a message, it's my manager. It ain't me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm ever, he's, he's, he always is thinking like on a business sense, like, yo, you just dropped this thing. Here's the rollout. Mm -hmm. The rollout is do the thing and click a bunch of the pages that we know that are sturdy and fucking send it and get the post. You know, like he's doing his rounds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
But I don't care about the rounds no more. I'm done. I'm done. There, everybody will follow to me that needs to follow to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. not looking for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm that guy. Like, I can do it. I know this. Like, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I can help niggas if I needed to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then what you mentioned right now, like a minute ago or two, you said you're more humble than you should be. And in like the last 10, 11 years, you didn't, you didn't just influence like, because I noticed a lot of rappers from Regis, Regis Park pop, started popping out, you know? Your, your block has like a history of making like, in the Toronto scene, being buzzing for like 15 plus years, 16 plus years. And you also, do you think you also influenced the Toronto scene as well? And not just Regent Park, because I know you you influenced Regent Park for sure. A hundred percent, man. Yeah. A hundred percent. I have a lot of foster kids out there, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call them, my foster kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I kind of disowned them a little bit. But yeah, man, like, I don't know one of these guys that like you could say in the top 10 that I can't say they weren't. Listen, you're lying. Yeah. You're lying. Maybe not now, because maybe you might be, you know what I'm saying? But you're lying. You know what I'm saying? You know it. Like. Everybody, everybody gave me my flowers when I touched the road. That's what yeah, was good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My page you, wasn't out there, but I even gave mm, me flowers too. For right sure. Was coming up, yeah. Even niggas that like, I don't really agree with online and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Before all of that, all of them, like, you, anybody you can name that I ever had exchanged words with on the internet, anybody, every one of those, any one of those guys, I promise you, we don't need any names, messaged me when I came out. Oh, don't know, fam. Yo, pioneer this rap shit. Welcome oh. home, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I already know my reach. Like, I had to go through niggas' pages or Lincoln Bio and see, like, who the fuck even are you? Like, I might have heard the name in jail, but, like, I don't know you. So, like, I know the weight that my shit holds. You know what I'm saying? I know that for sure. That's yeah. facts, 100%. Everybody could talk a big game, whatever, but the numbers do speak, too. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I get cloud or I get this and that. I'm not even clouded up like that on the blocks. I don't even do the most. I'm not doing, you know what I'm saying? All of that shit yeah. on the blocks. But the numbers plus the influence plus everything, that's going to speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Not just being posted on blogs for doing dumb shit because it's not resonating to the music and no label's giving you shit. So fuck yeah, off. Yeah, it doesn't. But this is the thing, you know? Rappers, when they, when they make new music, sometimes people don't care as much. Mm -hmm. But the news about the rappers, whether it's good or bad, most of the time it's bad news. Or sometimes they're doing fuckery. They're doing bullshit. You know, they got an IG live, but it does bring them a lot of clout and you don't seem to do that at all. Do you think there's a disadvantage or do you think you have to just work harder in your music? Like, what do you think about that? I wouldn't say a disadvantage. Like maybe it would, maybe it would help a bit, but I don't think I need that though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that, but yeah, it would probably, probably help a bit. Like whenever I'm doing the shit, I'll be dumb to say the numbers aren't there. You know what I'm saying? The numbers yeah. makes like, I see the numbers going up. So. I'm not blind to the numbers, but it's just not my thing. Like, bro, like, I'm not a fucking showman. Like, I'm not a fucking host. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fucking DJ. I'm a rapper. I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I talk, I'm talking real shit. Like, if I'm going to get it in, into it with a man, you're going to end up hearing me, like, dropping some lows, saying some hot shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not there for me to do that. Like, I just stick with the rapping. Like, I don't need to talk too much on the shit. Like. I don't usually like, I don't even, even live, even if it's not about beef shit, I just don't really give the time of day to yeah. talk to the screen like that. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should be though, right? Maybe I should be, right? More tapped into it, but it's just not me. Uh, like just, it just depends on you. It just depends on you. If mm. you have your streams and you know, you don't want to make a, like a fool out of yourself, you're good. Mm. Keep doing what you're doing right now. I That's what I'm, I'm not worried about that. That's the thing I'm never worried about because I don't mind if I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can fall and people can record it. I'm going to post it myself. Yeah. Anything can happen. It is what it is. Like, whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm not I noticed, worried. It's not just that. You don't have to, like, go back and forth with people. But if you just make, like, TikTok trends, mm -hmm. you still get clout off that. You can do stuff that's not, like, related to the bullshit. You mm -hmm. just got to be, like, a, a bit more creative. Like, TikTok trends, shit like that. You know? Different stuff. Mm -hmm. You can still, like... You can still get clout off different type of things. A lot of rappers going to TikTok and then just blowing up off there, you know? I might try, but I realize I probably because I'm not on the app. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't make enough TikToks. I try to think and I'm <laughs> yeah. like, man, like to be a TikToker, you probably gotta be using the app. Mm -hmm. You can't just be somebody that just pops in to just post a video, get clout, and then leave. Post a video, get clout. You probably gotta gotta be on there looking at other videos, researching, seeing what's going on. You might get some ideas like 
I'm not getting no ideas. No, I'm not on the shit. I'm not even fucking scrolling through it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? that's so, probably why. Yeah. Yeah, like I gotta be actually on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I download it, but I'm like, fuck, I don't even use it. Yeah, these new kids, that's how they blow up nowadays. Mm-hmm. And it's so easy compared to what you did 10, 11 years ago. It's so easy for them, bro. Mm-hmm. And then um, another question I have, Drake, did he ever message you? No. He wa- never? watched what? my stories, though. Yeah. Yeah. I see like, him watching my shit. Out of all these, out of all the Toronto artists, you know, he gave flowers to, the, to a lot of artists. He, um, he followed a lot of them. I'm surprised he, he still didn't follow you yet, which is actually super crazy. Concerning what you did for the city. Hey, man, it is what it is, right? Yeah. But he he watched my story and shit, hush talks me and shit. It's like, fuck, like, I don't even care. Maybe back then I might have been like, ah, fuck, Drake, fuck. But like, fam, I seen niggas get shot out by Drake and they're still bums. <laughs> doing yeah. shit all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a shot out, fine. Like, cool, my nigga. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, if I get that, bless. If I don't, Drake can fuck off. What the fuck? Like, I don't need Drake or nobody. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Drake's not paying my bills, fam. Drake don't, yeah. don't probably don't care about none of this shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me, fam. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, for the future, do you have any business moves that you're thinking about in the future? I'm working on a video game right now. A video game? Mm-hmm. For the phone? Mm-hmm. Oh, like, how's that like? It's going to be crazy. Sick. I'm just getting my character right now and shit, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm going to drop it. Like and- Toronto shit. It's going to be crazy. Sick, sick. And how about any new music coming out? Oh, yeah. I just shot four videos in the last three days. I'm going to fucking drop, 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 fam. Yeah. Just get out of here, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, any, and that's all the questions I have. Is there anything you want to tell the people to look out for, more about yourself, anything to close out the show? You guys know I'm the best. Let's be realistic. We're not going to do the games. We're not going to do the funny shit. It's Ron dog. Don't get close. You know what I'm saying? We the realest out. Hardest out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mandem. Shout out H&M. You know what I'm saying? Free the guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Free Rouse. You know what I'm saying? Free Blicky. You know what I'm saying? Free all the Mandem, man. Let's get it, man. Yo, listen. Real Toronto news. We tapped in. We're fucking live. Let's get it. And you guys know who the fucking best is, who the gold is. The numbers speak for it. Fuck itself. And fuck the numbers. Come see it live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Oh, yo, listen. The new tour. I'm trying to do Oshawa in Toronto for January. So you guys make sure you drop this by then? Um, this will be dropping like two two weeks at most. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So yeah. I'll show in Toronto. We're in the place, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys fucking turn up. Yeah, appreciate you again. Appreciate you again for coming. If you guys don't know who this is and you listen to Toronto music, you don't listen to Toronto music. I'm telling you that right now. And um, yeah, thanks for coming. If you've been watching this from start to now, I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow him. Check out his music if you didn't already by now. But yeah, thank you guys.